Hello my dear students, welcome back to the new session of social studies. Today we are on lesson number 3, World Heritage Sites in India. Now, <clears throat> we have many monuments and we also have many beautiful forests, then we also have very beautiful national parks, wildlife sanctuaries. So all these are our world heritage. Now in this chapter we are going to learn about some of the uh, heritage which we have in India. Now let us begin with the warm up session. Look at these pictures given below. What do they show? Write about them in the box given below. So these are the pictures of some heritages. So you have to write the name of this monuments. Two I will do it and the next two you have to write it by yourself. Now I can see this is a Sanchi Stupa. Next this is Red Fort. Then this two you have to write it by yourself. Now let's begin. In this chapter we are going to learn about importance of heritage sites, some heritage sites in India. First we will know what is the importance of, importance of heritage sites. Now World Heritage a Site is a place of special cultural, historical, scientific or physical importance recognized by United Nations educational, scientific and cultural organization that is UNESCO. So World Heritage Site is a place of special cultural or physical importance. Then uh, the main aim of this World Heritage is to ensure its conservation for the future because it is a beauty of our country. If there is no heritages in our country then how the tourist will come or how our future will come to know about the struggles which is faced by a freedom fighters or the how the name Delhi has been uh, given. Then how uh, the Taj Mahal was known. So if these are not there in our country, then it, our country it will look very dull. So in each and every country there are heritages which shows the beauty of that country. Now it is recognized and shows respect to the sites which make it, uh, which makes it famous in the international also. And uh, the sites also includes uh, forest, then mountains, then uh, lakes, buildings and cities like we also have the buildings which are built by the Britishers during the British time there are many uh, buildings and those are also our uh, world heritages now the sites could include forest mountain lakes monuments buildings complexes or cities the aim the aim of recognizing any site as heritage is to ensure its conservation for the future such recognition recognition respects the site and makes it internationally famous Presently, there are 36 World Heritage Sites in India. So, find out which are the 36 World Heritage Sites in India. Only few we are going to learn in this chapter. The next few more you have to search it. First is Taj Mahal. Who has built the Taj Mahal? Shah Jahan has built the Taj Mahal in the memory of his wife Begum Mumtaz Mahal. Now let's start. Taj Mahal is a cultural icon of India. It displays the glory and gender of the Mughal Empire. It is a white marble museum and stands on the banks of river Yamuna. It was built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. In the 17th century CE, 
He built it in the memory of his wife, Begum Mumtaz Mahal. It was the most expensive monument of its period and took 22 years to complete. Millions of tourists and official dignitaries visit it every year. Now, what is dignitaries? Dignitaries means very famous person or very well-known person. So, those are known as dignitaries. They also come to visit the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is in fact one of the seven wonders of the world. It is a seven wonders of the world. The Taj Mahal is the finest piece of Mughal architecture which combines the Persian and the Indian styles. It stands at the center of a square plat platform surrounded by gardens and water channels. It contains the graves of the emperor and the empress. It is guarded by four minarets which are topped by a kiox or chhatri in every corner. So these are the four minarets. One, two, three, four. These are the four minarets and which are topped by chhatri just like an umbrella. Okay. Detailed floral carving, geometric designs, beautiful calligraphy and precious stones adorn the walls of the monument. The walls are famous for its inlay, stucco and jali work. <coughs> inlay means the uh, embroidery, the work done uh, out of uh, different materials. Now if the Taj Mahal is the seven wonders of the world then can you name what are the other six monuments which are built which monuments or the buildings which are built by Shah Jahan. So try to find out. Next, the Red Fort. The Red Fort or Lal Kila was constructed by Shah Jahan when he established Shah Jahanabad. So, Taj Mahal was also, Taj Mahal is built by Shah Jahan and Red Fort was also built by or constructed by Shah Jahan. So, out of the seven buildings, two we got to know. One is Taj Mahal and the next is Red Fort. Now, the next five you have to find out. Which are the five buildings constructed by the, constructed by the Mughal Empire, Shah Jahan. So, present day Delhi. So, how Delhi before in the Mughal spirit, Delhi was known as Shah Jahanabad. As its capital city in the 17th century CE, it is a national monument. Every year on the Independence Day of our country, our Prime Minister hoists the national flag at the Red Fort and addresses the nation from there. So every year during the Independence Day, we can see the Prime Minister hoisting the national flag. And he also addresses in the Red Fort. He delivers a speech on the Red Fort. The Red Fort is made of red stone, sandstone. That's why it is known as Red Fort. It is a large complex where houses several loyal buildings. The Diwane Aham and the Diwane Khas were halls used for public and private purposes for the emperor respectively. So inside the red fort there are royal buildings, several royal buildings are there where the Diwani Aham and the Diwani Khas where the halls, halls Halls used for public as well as for the private purposes, just for meetings and all. The famous peacock throne of Shah Jahan is situated in the Diwani Aham. Rang Mahal was a palace for the queens. It overlooks the Yamuna. Moti Masjid is the mosque. Nakar Khana is the entrance gate. And the Mina Bazaar is the famous market inside the fort. 
Chandni Chowk and Jama Masjid are located just opposite to it. Now, activity Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan is often referred to as the builder of the marbles due to the many magnificent buildings he built. Find out about the other buildings built by Shah Jahan in addition to the Taj Mahal and Red Fort. Prepare a chart with their images and at least one striking feature of this monument. So this will be your activity. You know out of the seven buildings we already know about the two buildings that is the Taj Mahal and the Red Fort. The next five you have to find out and prepare a chart and what is the main features of those buildings you have to write the common feature about those buildings next we are moving on to Kaziranga National Park where is Kaziranga National Park it is located in Assam in the northeast region Kaziranga National Park in Assam is renowned for its successful conservation of the one horned Indian rhinoceros. So in the Kaziranga National Park you can see the rhinoceros with only one horn on the head. It also provides habitat for a number of threatened species and migratory birds. It is spread along the banks of the mighty Brahmaputra river on the north and lush green Karvi along hills on the south. It is a heaven for the royal Bengal tiger. So it is also recognized as a tiger reserve. Asian elephant, wild Asiatic water buffalo, hulok gibbons. Barasingha, Sambhar and Garyal are other precious species that live in its grassland. The great Indian hornbill and the Indian vulture are some of the birds which can be found in the park. Apart from this, Kaziranga also has a rich variety of vegetation. Now we have the Sun Temple which is in Konarak and Konarak is in Odisha, in the state of Odisha. The Sun Temple at Konarak in Odisha is a sacred Hindu temple. It is a marvelous specimen, what is specimen? Example pertaining to a particular type. Of architecture it was built was it was built by Narsimha Dev one of the East Ganga dynasty it is dedicated to the Sun God it is built in the shape of his chariot it was built in the 13th century CE this temple is one of the most well-known temples in India it is also known as a black pagoda. Architecturally, the Sun Temple adopts the Kalinga style of architecture. It is made of sandstone. Like a chariot, it has 24 wheels on its sides and is led by seven horses. All these are intricately designed. So the Sun Temple in Konarak, it was built by Narshimha Dev, one of the East Ganga dynasty, for whom he has dedicated, he has dedicated to the Sun God. And how did he build it? How did he give the uh, design of the Sun Temple? By um, like the shape of his chariot and it has um, it, it has a kalinga style of architecture and uh, like he, since he, he has given the shape of his chariot so the sun, sun temple has 24 wheels along all the sides and then it is led by seven horses it has seven horses also all around now the mountain railways of india the mountain railways of India represents the engineering marvel of rail tracks on mountains and have been recognized as world heritage sites. 
Now this railway lines it was constructed during the British time. The Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, the Nilgiri Mountain Railway and the Kalka Shimla Railway collectively form the heritage sites. They constitute the railway routes in the Himalayas and the Western Ghats. These rail routes were commissioned by the British during their rule. Most of the trains are still in operation. They run on steam engines and are some of the few narrow gauge trains in the world. These trains wind across a rugged mountainous terrain at a very high elevation and provide a scenic view of the region. Initially, the train served as the only link between the hill stations and the foothills. Today, they are a popular tourist attraction. Now, let's move on to the exercises. We have first filling the blanks. World Heritage Sites are recognized by dash it is recognized by whom the world heritage site because of them now it is known internationally also so it was recognized by the unesco UNESCO, United National Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. There are dash world heritage sites in India. There are 36 world heritage sites in India. Dash build the red fort. Who built the red fort? Shah Jahan. The Sun Temple was built by Dash. Who has built the Sun Temple? It was built by Narshimba Dev. Narshimba Dev 1. Next, match the column. The Taj Mahal. We can see the names the Taj Mahal, the Red Fort, Kaziranga National Park, the Sun Temple, Konarak mountain railways of india and the opposite side we can see the hill station odisha name of the state agra name of a place then delhi name of the state then assam name of the state so the taj mahal is in agra the red fort is in delhi kaziranga national park is in assam the Sun Temple Konarak is in Odisha. Mountain Railways of India, they are, the, they are in the hill stations. Next, choose the correct answer. A World Heritage Site is a place of special cultural or physical importance recognized by the dash. Answer is UNESCO. The architecture of the Taj Mahal is a mixture of the dash and Indian style, Persian and Indian style. The dash situated in the red fort was a palace for the queens, the Rang Mahal. The sun temple at Konarak was built by dash. It was built by Narshimbha Dev One. So it was about the chapter World Heritage Sites in India. So next time we will meet with a new, new topic. Till then students take care of yourself and thank you so much.